Hey guys, Blue Kool-Aid coming at you. Obviously, you know, this what we're looking at here. Well, before I get into that, hey, I've had a couple uh, very rude comments to other people in my comment section. Um, you can have difference of opinion, but please do it respectful. Don't use vulgarity or attack them personally. Um, if I, you know, call somebody a shill or a, a troll or, a, you know, or just using just personal slams on somebody, um, I'm just going to delete the, the comment if I see it. Um, if it keeps happening, I'll have to block whoever's doing it. I don't want to do that. You can attack me all you want, okay? Um, I do I do appreciate different opinions, okay? I really do because I've changed my mind on a few things because of stuff. Different opinions said in a respectful way. Um, I'm not going to listen to nothing that's attacking, um, especially other uh, YouTube channels or other subscribers. Um, that's why I do this, guys, is to try to help everybody, and, and that negativity just doesn't need to be here in my comment section. I don't think it's proper to do that. I really, I just don't. Um, I want this to be a place where everybody can come and get, you know, look at look at the content and maybe learn something from it or have something to contribute. Um, that's my goal here, guys. But anyway, um, this is something that Mr. MBB3 put out yesterday, and I seen it like 12 minutes after he posted it. And I almost did a video last night on it, but I wanted to really give it some time to kind of play out and to um look at it and just try to make my own mind up about it because it's this is jaw dropping it really is short of somebody debunking this photograph as far as uh photo forensics the only way you can tell me that that ain't something we need to be looking at is if this was photoshopped or faked in some sort of way because in my opinion this is no way a camera anomaly um and i'll go into this a little bit further but Obviously, you see that. That's what it looked like from zoomed out, like normal picture. Actually, that has a filter on it there. I don't think this was actually that visible um, without a camera. But then you go into this one, okay? Um, what he's done here is he showed, you know, an animated Stargate, what we think they might look like. And then the Stargate, this, the picture is right behind it. Okay, look at that, guys. Shadows are where they should be. I mean, this thing has depth, it has basically hieroglyph written on it, whatever, some sort of whatever there. Um, you know, we've always questioned if that's what's going on up there. It's been a theory for a long time. Um, but are they getting to the point where they're either messing up or they just can't hide it anymore? Um, I don't know. You know, and it is significant in my opinion that this is hanging around the sun area. Okay? Um, there's, a, there's another theory out there, guys, that they think the sun itself may, might be a, a portal. But these are all just theories, okay? But this right here is something to look at. Whatever your theory is, whatever your flavor is on this, this is not normal. This should not be in our sky. That's all I'm going to say on that one. But uh, Dr. Uh, Albers did an article on this also. Um, she did an article on this, and I'm sure there's a ton of other YouTube channels that are you know picking up on this. But uh, she kind of explained what a wormhole actually is and what a stargate, what we kind of think how they would work, how the, the fabric of the universe, you know, would bend and how it would, you know, you could travel vast distances very fast. I would encourage you guys to go look at that. I really would. Um, it explains what the, at least the, the main theory of what these things would be able to do. Um, you know, most of them, we think that they would have to spin, um, at least everything that I've seen. Uh, so, but is this thing up there and it just stays up there or is it something that actually travels itself? You know, if it's a star gate, if you've ever seen any kind of those movies or, or read into that, it's an actual gate that stays in one spot and you just travel through it. Okay. Um, so there would have to be one there and one where your destination was. So is this up there all the time and they're just hiding it? You know, I, I don't know. That That's a theory, guys. So, um, But something I'm going to bring to this real quick. This picture was taken on December 14th, 15th, right? Okay. Um, again, Mr. MBB3, great job here, man. That, you know. Uh, yeah. Go watch his video, guys. Uh, Michelle, great job sending this in to him to get this out. 
So, um, anyway, um, something that nobody else is really tied into here. I have, uh, I don't know why my, I don't know why my brain hit on this, but it did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hard to believe my brain hit on anything. Um, I'll just take you back to, back to life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Back to reality, I guess. I'm gonna start singing. We started seeing this, right? I mean, we talked about this. This was uh, 9 of 2017, okay? Now, then we started seeing that again, okay? And then Scott caught this on the 14th of December, okay? Everybody was looking at this at first, okay? And then look, this right here just kind of looks like, well, maybe that is something, maybe it's not. So he sent it over to his buddy, Billy, that does photo stuff, okay? And he ran it through a bunch of stuff, and whatever Billy does to the photographs, he was able to see what that actually is. Look at that, okay? Now, we've talked about this before. Um, Scott did a whole, you know, I think he did a live stream, actually, on this. Um, but he ran through a whole bunch of stuff. But my point here is, guys, this all happened at the same time that we're seeing that Stargate show up. Okay? This is the same time frame. So is that a coincidence? Um, I don't know. You know, you can call it a coincidence if you want. I tend to think that there, there's probably no coincidence there, guys. It's probably related. All right? Now, <coughs> next thing we're going to talk about, guys, you know, that we can go, we can talk for hours on this Stargate thing because it's a huge subject. But go check out Mr. MBB3 and Dr. Albert's report on this. Um, it's just, it's good stuff, okay? There's a whole lot to learn there, a whole lot of information to take in. But then the next next thing I'm going to talk about, guys, is we had a CME, okay? And I, I showed you guys, let's see here, let's just look at this real quick. Oh, that's a jet stream. Uh, I did, I had definitions. Okay. Um, well, we just won't go through that real quick. But anyway, um, we had a CME on the 6th, 7th, Okay. Um, the, the difference between a CME, basically the difference is, in a solar flare, is a CME actually ejects plasma or, or the surface of the sun, part of it gets ejected out, okay? A solar flare doesn't have that. It's just energy coming off, okay? Um, doesn't actually have the, the plasma part, I don't think. Um, anyway, it, it's not actually part of the surface blowing off. Now, when you have, which is why they call it a coronal mass ejection it's the mass of the corona of the sun getting blown off okay um so this was a true cme now it wasn't earth facing so nobody freak out there um but my point is guys is oops my point is that we're seeing this over and over and over again on this side of the sun why is it always in the same spot you know, we've had other CMEs, you know, I ain't saying they're all there in that spot, but the majority of them are there on that side. Why is that? Well, I think my opinion is that we've got something either sitting there or we got multiple objects coming in and out right there in that spot. Um, you know, and, and Dr. Albers did a paper on this one here too, guys. I mean, it, this is just such an odd looking CME. It's crazy. Um, obviously there in the middle, it looks like it's something spherical, like an object, a planet, stellar core, um, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, I, I just don't know what else to say about stuff like this anymore because there's, yeah, it's happening all the time. That's my, my point here is guys is things are happening all over the place and we got to pay attention. You know, I just got through talking about the jet stream. I got through talking about solar flares um, you know, and then we start talking about other stuff, you know, you guys need to check out all this information and go, you got to really read it and see it for yourself if you really want to remember it, you know, and, and again, I've been talking about the magnetosphere, look at that, okay, most of these, these signatures are not normal, okay, these right here, that's not a normal looking signature, in my opinion, you have to have a third magnet which would be a third planetary body or stellar core or something, comet, causing these dis, dis, these disruptions, okay? 
you can't just have the earth and the sun. I ain't saying it couldn't happen that way. But the most likely thing would be a third magnet being involved. All right? So that's, you know, that's where I go with this. Now look at that. I mean, what would cause that? You know, these fingers out here that I've talked about in previous videos. Um, <coughs> you know, these are just weird-looking captures. And then you see stuff like that. Okay? I mean, yeah. So, you know, I think we just need to pay attention there, guys. I really do. Um, all that stuff is happening at the same time. That Stargate thing is completely crazy. And then you got, like I said, this is great stuff here i mean look at that you guys need to be aware of this you got you got to see this don't be fearful but know that that's happening that's today okay those are cmes and the cmes shouldn't look like that um not not to mention that they're continually happening on that side of the sun again they're not earth facing okay something i'm going to say here real quick you see this right here this happened shortly after that cme okay now, don't freak out when you see this stuff, guys. If you guys go look at the Lasco C2 and and other tools. This right here, I ain't saying that these stuff, we shouldn't look at these captures. But this is because of that CME, okay? I believe the camera probably got jarred or just had so much light bloated to it or energy, what have you. It caused this thing to mess up a little bit. And it was only there for one or two captures. So, I mean... When this stuff happens, yes, we should look at it, but we also have to keep in mind that sometimes stuff is actually just normal, okay? Um, I know in the research we do, pretty much nothing's normal because <laughs> we have been lied to an awful lot. But, yeah, I mean, sometimes it is. And that's kind of where I'm at with that. But, you know, you can have different opinion. That's fine. I mean, I, I you know, I respect that. Um, I'm going to show you this real quick. This was sent to me. Um, I'll give you guys some shout outs here in the next video or two. Um, I, I got the names and stuff written down. I'm just not going to go through them tonight. Um, but I am going to give you guys credit for this. You know, Kim's been sending me stuff. Kenny G, a uh, host of others. Mike Sprawl up in Michigan. Buddy, you're my man, dude. Awesome. <laughs> he's got, he's got some stuff. I'm putting together a video with just his content. And, uh, yeah. He's got these uh, weird colored looking clouds that he's seeing. And I, I just want to put this out there too, guys. He had, I may have already talked about this, but I'm going to talk about it again. He was talking to me about a month ago about these this new substation up there that he was that where he lives. And they were working on it at odd hours and at odd times doing very odd stuff. And this is like a month ago. And he said it continued. Then it quit. Then it happened again kept happening over and over again but he never noticed any electrical disruptions so it caused him to wonder what the heck is going on and then all of a sudden we have this stuff happening in new york and louisiana the transformers and stuff blowing you know I, I don't think that's coincidence i think that that's something we need to pay attention to and he's got some captures of some clouds different colored clouds that colors that i've never personally seen myself and, you know, really the only way that that stuff can actually happen is probably with the metals from the chemtrails or, or even, you know, whatever, certain amount of gas, different gases causing that kind of thing. Um, that's been proven already. But <laughs> um, I'm going to show you this one more picture. I'm going to, it's not here. Where is it at? I think it's in the, is it in the video? Nope. Tool is, yep. Okay, look at this one. Isn't that kind of odd, guys? Obviously, that's two light sources, right? I mean, and then you got this shaft of rainbow light going to this light source. Then you got this big red whatever out there, okay? Yeah. I mean, what the heck is this? And all I've done to this photograph is bump the contrast up just a little bit and bump the took the brightness down. Just so you could see it a little bit better. This all showed up actually on the original. I just did it to kind of bring it out a little bit more. Um, this area over here was uh, was there. But when I bumped the contrast up, it made it too dark to see. But it's there. Um, <coughs> anyway, 
but yeah i just thought that was a really really interesting picture there i mean that's wow and again guys i'll give you guys some credit here um i am going to run down a list and i've got some names you guys have been helping me out so much i couldn't do any of these captures without you um, you know, I go look at the tools. You guys have been looking at these tools, and that's been my goal from day one, is to get everybody looking at this stuff. And I'm I'm seeing more channels pop up. I'm seeing people do more work. Um, I've been talking to, uh, I think it's Fox Racing. Um, I'm not going to say your name because I'm not sure if you want me to. But uh, he's been he's going to try to start up a channel, I think. And he's been asking, I need to text him. I told him I'd text him, and I haven't yet. I apologize for that. Um, I Honestly, I've just been so slammed. I've been, I'm still sick. You guys can probably hear it in my voice. And just doing this video, actually, guys, is kind of kind of hurting me a little bit right now. I'm just not feeling very well. But uh, anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to be able to bring that to you. Anybody that's watching my channel, I wanted you guys to see that stuff from uh, Mr. MBB3 and, uh, you know, uh, the captures that uh, Scott and Dr. Albers caught and wrote that article about the CME. Um, guys, go look at that stuff, please. That's what this is about. We need to share it, okay? Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, God bless. Uh, Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.